S S S S S S Very good. Thank you, Ian. What can you see? Okay, Chris, would you like a little or a lot of rice? Cool, good boy, good job. Do you like rice? You like to eat rice? Cool, be careful, it's hot. What do you say? You're welcome. Oh. People, what will you do? I will eat my snack quickly. Snack time. Yes, you may. Good thing you didn't catch that. I just I was like, ah, oh, I'm in my right now. No, I am a pig. I am a pig. Sorry, Judy. So dirty. Say, Teacher Jillian, you are a pig. Tony, where do you sleep? Where's Tony? Where do you sleep? Does your head go here or your head go here? So like this? Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye, Steven. Can you wipe your face? You got a lot of toothpaste around your face. Okay, look at the camera. Lovely. Go wipe your face, okay? <laughs> oh, finished. Definitely not as scary as it looks, and a for sure asset. You really, really need one when you're in Taiwan. Now we're off to the MRT. Next stop is Ximending. Let's go buy a ticket.
but I'm getting a lot of stares. I was like, I should get my nose pierced. Really? How much for a nose pierce? I'm Thai. Taiwan interested me as a culture, especially because it's got the, uh, the element of the old meets new with the Taiwan being a rapidly developed country and, and uh, I've also always been very interested in Chinese culture and that's obviously prevalent here. Part of my goal was to, uh, to earn and save money, which I'm, which I'm doing well um, at the moment. Um, part of my goals were to learn Chinese, which I'm not doing so well at the moment. I've, I've learned a little, but it's, it's, it's harder than you think. I wanted basically to experience a, a new culture and a different culture and put myself in a, a difficult and challenging position and rise to that challenge. In the morning, I teach a kindergarten class for three hours. Um, I start off with exercise time and then we go into a, a, a time called sharing time where we basically share love and talk about the weather. Then we have English time where we focus on English. Then we have a snack time where we eat together. After that, um, it's something called fun time, which is usually based around making something or reading a story and acting the story out. It's pretty much that, fun time, but they use English in that too. And then we have lunch time. And after that, I've finished kindy, I have a break for a while. I come somewhere like here or um, spend some time shopping, uh, even go home and just take a break. And after that, I have some, uh, either one or two bushy bun classes, which is um, the cram school. And you'll see some of that um, as well, I understand. and travel, learn a lot about a different culture, which definitely I've achieved. Save some money, which I haven't quite achieved that much. Um, it is easy to save money, but it's also easy to spend a lot of money, because Taipei is a wonderful city. There's so much to do, so much to buy, and a lot of traveling to be done, so that, of course that takes money. You learn how small the world really is, I think, and how easy it is to get along in in a different country and somewhere where you don't speak the language. People are always willing to help you out. It's never impossible to communicate.